The Story of the Woman King, 2022. In the West African Kingdom of Dahomey in 1823, General Neniska, leader of the all-female group of warriors, the Agoji, liberates Dahomeyan women who were abducted by slavers from the Oyo Empire. This provokes King Kizo of Dahomey to prepare for an all-out war with the Oyo. Neniska begins to train a new generation of warriors to join the Agoji in order to protect the kingdom. Among these warriors is Nawi, a strong-willed girl who was offered by her father to the king after refusing to marry men who would beat her. Nawi befriends Izogi, a veteran Agoji. She also reveals to Neniska that she is adopted and shows a birthmark on her left shoulder, shocking Neniska. European slavers led by Santo Ferreira and accompanied by the half Dahomeyan Malik arrive in Africa as part of an alliance with the Oyo, led by General Obaid. Nawi encounters Malik while the latter is bathing, and the two become friends. Shortly after graduating from training to become a full fledged Agoji, Nawi sneaks off to speak with Malik and learns that the Oyo are planning to attack. She reports this to Neniska, who admonishes her for her recklessness. Neniska reveals that in her youth, she was captured by Opa, raped, and impregnated. After giving birth to a daughter, Neniska embedded a shark tooth in her left shoulder before giving her away. Neniska helps Nawi extract the tooth, confirming that she is her biological daughter. Neniska leads the Ogoji in an attack on the Oyo. The attack is successful, but Oba escapes and Nawi and Izogi are captured. One of the captured Ogoji slips away and reports the other's fate to Neniska. Gizo prepares to bestow the title of Woodman King, his partner and equal in ruling Dahomey, upon Neniska, but refuses to authorize a rescue mission for the captive Ogoji. Meanwhile, Izogi is killed in an escape attempt and Malik buys Nawi in order to protect her. Neniska defies orders and sets out with a group of like-minded warriors to rescue the captives. The chaos allows Nawi to escape and rejoin Neniska. Malik frees several other slaves who drown Santo, and Neniska kills Oba in single combat. The triumphant Agoji return to Dahami, where Gizo privately and briefly admonishes Neniska for disobeying him before crowning her the Woman King. After the festivities, Neniska and Nawi privately acknowledge their familial relationship.